Umbrellas, welcome back to another movie commentary. We're watching a TV show. <laughs> wow, we are watching a TV show. Hmm. We're watching the darkest episode of SpongeBob. I'm with Evan. What's up, fucker? Scaredy pants. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! You know what's funny? All these dark episodes came from the first couple of seasons of SpongeBob. So when cinema was pure. Okay. Who's there? <laughs> Wait, this is a horror movie. Hold on! Don't you want to hear my annual scary story? Yeah, it's called American Capitalism. <laughs> Every year on Halloween night. We need the plot logic here. Can you have fire underwater? Is that the dark secret? You could do it this whole time. <laughs> Start stealing people's souls. Do souls look like pickles? Ah, as a matter of fact, they do. Then he puts them where you can never get them. In his soul bag. <laughs> Wait, that's actually quite traumatizing. The, the, the fact already, this is a TV show aimed at children, and it's already yeah. talking about sucking people's souls. And that the souls are like pickles. That makes it worse. Dirty pants. <laughs> Steal your soul. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to relate to Squidward now that I'm an adult? I think we were all Squidward at heart. Nah, I hated Squidward when I was younger. Every Halloween, no matter how hard I try, everybody scares me. Oh, I thought he was carving his pineapple. He was carving the pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to be scary, you're going to need a good costume. What do you think? Wait, when the fuck did Patrick have eyebrows? I've never known. He's never had what? eyebrows before. Oh, oh, that is terrifying. I don't know, Patrick. Come on, SpongeBob! It's little kids! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! This guy's Ted Bundy! <laughs> the haunted mattress! <laughs> okay, okay, here's your candy. No. That don't look like no candy. What's the difference between that ghost and me? I've got a square head and a real ghost has a round one. Oh! Oh no! No, they're not gonna shave him. No, <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> what the fuck? Perfect. Now that's scary. Patrick's a surgeon. You were right. He is Ted Bundy. Rah, rah, I'm the flying Dutchman. All that for nothing. <laughs> oh, here comes someone now. It's the same fucking kids. Flying Dutchman. That the haunted mattress? Been demoted to a haunted sleeping bag. <laughs> 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 that was so shit. Uh, those guys are going to be such good bullies later on. <laughs> Me. How did Mr. Krabs make that? Wait, that's a good... How did I never think about that? That's the dark truth! Uh, I'm the Flying Dutchman! That does not look like the same Spongebob. Wait, that's, that's legit scary. Hey, when you're heading for them cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Flying Dutchman! <laughs> Again, how's there water and water? He's in a fucking... What? Oh. Why are you fighting logic? It's a talking <laughs> fucking crab. Not the reason I'm taking your souls. No, this is the straw. Imagine he actually legit takes his soul. If it's a pickle, I'm gonna lose it. First, I gotta get rid of this stupid costume. <laughs> oh no, what does it look like? <laughs> <laughs> is that, what the fuck? That's so... Uh, I, I don't know what's worse. The fact that might be the most cursed thing I've ever seen or the fact his shadow looks like Squidward. I would have never picked up on the Squidward thing, but you're so right. I scared him! <laughs> yeah, fair. His costume wasn't scary. Himself was. That's the metaphor we're all looking for. Basically, if you're ugly, just wear a mask. <laughs> COVID was a blessing for some of you all. That's my brain. Oh! What the so? <gasps> the squidge sound effects. So, so what did you learn from the first episode? All I learned is don't let your friends give you a haircut or skin you alive. Take it or leave it. I was a teenage Gary. Ah! SpongeBob! Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm already making an assumption here. Are you telling me the preface is that SpongeBob? Turns into Gary? I think that's a fair assumption. Please stop leaving your undergarments on my front lawn. Are you holding it like that? He sniffs them. 
Yes. I love Gary. Oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Are we realizing Squidward's the best character? I am. You guys will be gone all weekend? Yeah, but you've already said you can't do it. You know he's up to something when he does one of these. I changed my mind. Let me show you a little bit about snail care. I have all the cans marked. A can in the morning. God damn, how fat is this thing? That, uh, that's the American diet. The bus is here! Come on, SpongeBob! And the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Now you won't forget my instructions, will you? I have the memory of an elephant. So because Squidward has completely ignored his instructions, Squidward gonna turn into Gary. That would be the plot logic, but I feel like that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna do all the things I can't normally do because of SpongeBob. You just see Gary dead. Oh. <laughs> is, he, is he actually dead? Eat, 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 eat. You gotta finish this food. <laughs> SpongeBob teaching us about, you know, cannibalism and mistreating your pets. I'm home. Hi, SpongeBob. Oh, he ate all the food. He's gonna have the meanest. His asshole is gonna be bleeding. Gary, what's happened to you? What's wrong? They put a fly sound Gary, effect. Something's wrong with Gary. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, because he's been neglected. He probably stinks. Shot of snail plasma must be carefully administered. You gonna do it? I'm too squeamish. What sort of fucking doctor are you? I can't give Gary his plasma. I'm squeamish too. SpongeBob, I don't wanna! Yeah, but how much shit of an owner is SpongeBob? Pet is literally dying and he still doesn't have the kahanas to save it. You're actually really right. Ouch, injecting me with snail plasma. No, you, you you don't mean to tell me we actually see him transform into a snail, right? I think that's exactly what happens. Oh, he just wanted some water. He just needed water. Wasn't there already water there? Oh, now you're on my side. <laughs> Meow. Why do snails meow? Are my fucking cat? Gary, you're getting a lot faster. Nah, this episode's cursed. Ah! Oh. Oh my god, he just grew a booty. Hey, why are you kind of caked up though? You're gonna be just fine. Meow. Ah! This would literally make you scared of injections. Meow. Ew. This is fucking nah, alien. Oh man. Meow. Ah! Ah! Meow. They're teaching us that if you mistreat your pets, this is what's gonna happen to you. <laughs> oh no! No! Why does Squidward get a shell? <laughs> yes, SpongeBob gets his pants. Is that the end of the episode? No, it doesn't just end like that. It All right, boys. Does. What did we learn on that one? Don't be mean to your pets, or you'll turn into a dog. This is traumatizing to children. Graveyard <laughs> shift. I've got a hot date with a little lady, and her name is Clarinet. <laughs> what, do he, what do you think he does with that clarinet? He puts it in his tube. <laughs> Fine, if you don't want my money. Money? Oh, hang on, capitalism oh, coming in. <laughs> Mr. Squidward, welcome to the night shift. Broke, poverty. Who cares? Taxis, give me all your money. Mm -hmm. I can't hang out here all night. I got a life. Shouldn't Squidward sign like a buying contract? Well, knowing Mr. Krabs, he probably probably didn't have that great of a contract. We got customers. Here, please hit me as hard as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Squidward's so relatable. Pop in the bathroom. At night. Burn my hand! At night. <laughs> <laughs> Take out the trash. Taking out the trash. Taking out the trash. At night. Does he get attacked going to the dumpster? It's trying to teach you about American culture. <laughs> Pizza cake. <laughs> this show still holds up. What do I know? You don't remember? He was all over the news. Ah, uh, Squidward is cruel for this. He's no, he's not. Actually, what am I saying? He deserves this. Ah, 
slash slinging slasher. The slash bringing hasher. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, SpongeBob is so on shrooms. Tell me the story. At this very restaurant, the hash slinging slasher. Can you say that ten times fast? Hash slinging slasher, hash slinging slasher, hash slinging slasher, hash slash 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 I think I nailed that. He cut off his own hand by mistake. You mean like this? <laughs> what a cool party trick. It wasn't a sponge. So? So it didn't grow back! <laughs> 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 he has control over all of them? Tuesday night, his ghost returns to the crusty crab. But tonight's Tuesday night. <laughs> oh, he's going to come, isn't he? He's actually a real thing. The phone will ring, and there will be nobody there. He exits the bus and crosses the... <laughs> this is cannibalism. This is genius. He slowly approaches. Remember, this was a child show. What did they do? He gets you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so happy Squid was happy. Nobody has a spatula for a hand. It was all a joke. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, he's so annoying. Oh. Hey, wait, is it getting room for you now that SpongeBob's like this? Like, my whole world's turned upside down. <laughs> oh. I actually did a lot more with the sound design than I remember. Hey, Squidward. How are you doing? This guy's going to be terrifying, isn't he? What? What? Hello? Phone will ring, and there'll be no one there. The boy who cried wolf. This is what happens. So more of the story is don't bullshit your way for a scary, for a scary story. Don't gaslight. There was the lights, and the walls will ooze green slime. Oh, wait. They always do that. <laughs> Man, I could watch this show unironically. I'd have a great time. Hey, if you want this to be a series, comment down below and leave a like. That's how we know. I didn't know the buses ran this late. They don't. Dropping someone off. That's pretty scary. Ah, the hash slinging slasher. And if he touches you, you're dead? I've always sort of liked you. Squidward, oh, I used your clarinet to unclog my... What the fuck? Can I have a job application? Yeah. I brought my own staff. Fuck you! Who was flickering the lights? What the... Nose for we got a nose for Ratu reference in this. What's a nose for what? To? So the lesson here is, is that if you try and scare your compatriot, you're either gonna die or get touched to death. Touched to death. Rock bottom. So my prediction is SpongeBob is gonna go through turmoil, gonna feel depressed, gonna feel down, and he's gonna try and get himself back up. Yeah, pretty fair. Love blue. Let me get my wallet. <laughs> Wait. SpongeBob trying to back it up on a Tuesday. Hang on. <laughs> What's who have you and SpongeBob's ass, man? Have you got a fetish here? Hey, SpongeBob? Yeah, Patrick? <laughs> Zam taking coke. <laughs> I think we're on the rock. Ah! Jesus, where are the seatbelts? Oh, they're actually going to the bottom of the ocean. It sure is weird around here. Imagine watching this as a kid. The ocean would be terrifying. Me down. Uh, He's dead. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what's the death counter in SpongeBob? <laughs> oh, this is nightmare fuel. Place sure is creepy. Hey, SpongeBob, the bus is here. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Wait, his friend just leaves him. <laughs> oh, no. no way. <laughs> Come on, bus. I gotta get home and feed Gary. Oh, we remember what happened the last time Gary didn't get fed. <laughs> Wait! Can you help me? <laughs> no. Ah, oh, the balloon. I am not leaving this spot no matter what. The bus so comes when it gets there. I'll only be gone a second. Hey! <laughs> 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 I can't believe how well this holds up. <laughs> He's fighting for survival. <laughs> oh no, this is just torture now. <laughs> oh no, no they took Oh <laughs> The bus is racist. <laughs> <laughs> I want a bus to bikini bottom, and no one is gonna tell me otherwise. 
Oh my god. Third is good! Fourth, not bad. 329. SpongeBob's such a pussy. Next. Next. Next! I know why the fish are at rock bottom. Don't treat him with respect. Because mm. he's not speaking their language. Oh, it's a whole f metaphor for racism or fissism. By the way, that, that was complete bullshit, but I just hope that makes <laughs> Understand your accent. You were right, Wilty! I don't know if this is applaudable or just downright sad. Predicting <laughs> SpongeBob in the deepest level might be my life's greatest achievement. That's the last one till morning. Help! Hey, they're letting me stay inside. I'm I'm happy with that. This isn't your average everyday darkness. Yeah, this is the epitome of darkness. I think I better just keep walking. Why would you go outside? Running. That's uh, this is like a horror movie. It's the stupidest thing to do, and they do it. Okay, that's enough. Don't come closer. See, this is what I remember as a kid. It's only you. What oh, he's gonna problem. make him float to the top. Fine, thanks. When you're at your darkest of times, you only have to remember to turn on the light. Why is he oh, taking the bus? Lad. Don't worry, SpongeBob, I'm coming back for you! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Patrick. You're the worst friend ever. What was the dark lesson in that one, man? Learn how to communicate. And if you ever feel like you're in darkness, just know you can get out of it. SB129. So get your earplugs ready. Is Squidward that bad? I can't remember if he's bad or not. Maybe they're just being mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, SpongeBob is out to kill Squidward. Ready to go? No, I'm not ready to go. He doesn't want to play with us. Why doesn't Squidward just kick their asses? Why doesn't he just stop opening the door? I'll be right out. Hello? Squidward. That's my horror movie. It's going to be my <gasps> nightmares all night. I'll bet that eager beaver's already down at Jellyfish Field. Ha! Ah, they're finally gone! Oh, he's so screwed. Does he get reincarnated into the Avatar? Two thousand years <laughs> later. <laughs> what the fuck? For two thousand years, they never opened up that freezer. Oh, a waste of burgers! <laughs> Is Spongebob reincarnated? I don't know. Spongebob? No! I am Spongetron. Welcome to the future. How do you know I'm from the past? Oh, this is a complete mindfuck. Right? Everything is chrome in the future. I mean, Squidward can't just unfreeze himself. So how does he get back to his relative time? Spongetron's X, Y, and Z. We're in the year 4,000. Squidward's having like an existential crisis. Future. <laughs> 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 yeah, Squidward sold and I guess gets a Oh no. Oh, oh my no. God. Okay, this is just bullying at this point. The time machine is down the hall to the left. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> oh, oh. Oops. oh. SpongeBob needs to be put in jail. This guy's a serial killer. SpongeBob exists in the future. Go to the past. See, playing with time is tricky. Yeah, you do the butterfly effect. Well, I guess this is before manners were invented. <laughs> SpongeBob even existed in the cave manage. <laughs> SpongeBob has a pecker, Jesus Christ. Hey, yo, where are you looking at? <laughs> Ew. Uh, well, I'm going away now. How is Squidward so calm? I, I have no idea. <laughs> Cloth. This ought to make things go a little smoother. Squidward invented jellyfishing. Squidward's basically just been the inventor of his own downfall. For the rest of the time, <laughs> they're going to be like having those like caveman paintings of who invented jellyfish. You're going to see this tentacle guy just giving you down this thing. <laughs> Like, like Squidward from the future is going to hate Squidward from the past, even though that's Squidward from the future. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was, it was that bad. Oh, wait, he shit. I know Squidward tried to kill him again. I'm telling you. He's a low-key serial killer. Loser. <laughs> When the time machine tells you you're a loser. <laughs> There's no way he survives this. Huh? Does he even exist now? Do we exist? 
Oh, mate. <laughs> oh, See? Mate. See? Mate, what the? <laughs> See? I could be completely wrong. I have no knowledge of how time works or, or in the quantum realm. But surely right. if he goes faster than the speed of light and gets crushed to the size of nothing, how does he survive? What logic? Yeah, fair. I can be all alone. Who thought this was a good idea? I'm sorry, how is this a children's show? I gotta get out of here! How? You're in literally nowhere. Where? 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 Oh! What? I even miss SpongeBob! <laughs> Oh, what? he had a Christmas Carol moment. SpongeBob Patrick! <laughs> that fucking stinks, <laughs> man! Daddy fishing? Who's the barnacle head who invented that game anyway? You are! Inception. <laughs> Going back. Going back! <laughs> <laughs> I have so many questions. Does Squidward have a soul? Like, where is his soul? Is it in the time when he left? Is it in the caveman era? I can tell you two things. It's with Davy Jones in the shape of a pickle. We are, we are fucking cracked this episode. They were, we didn't know it, but we were getting the answers before we even watched the episode. Well, that was the darkest episode of SpongeBob. And they're pretty fucking dark. I can't believe I'm not traumatized as an adult now. You didn't realize it as a kid. You're just like, oh, I'm just here for the jokes. As an adult, it really hits you. Let us know if you want to do this. Oh my God. Let, let, let. Oh my God. Let us know if you want to do it. Has I can't. Your brain. Yeah, I'm fucked, man. Umbrellas, <laughs> let us know if you like this concept and you want other ideas like this. <laughs>